Like the air we breathe, like the water we drink, or the food we eat, music is essential to our life. The universal language of music can evoke powerful emotions, tap the innermost reaches of our consciousness, and reach across cultural and social boundaries in unique and sometimes mysterious ways. Every culture has its own music, a unique natural resource as diverse as the planet itself, a resource which remains largely untapped. Unlocking the value hidden within is what music as a natural resource is about. Across every continent, music is taking on a new role, expanding our understanding of music as an art form. For example, in the Sustainable Community Development section, we feature the Field Band Foundation in the Republic of South Africa. Their stated mission is creating opportunities for developing life skills in youth through the medium of music and dance. The program resonates with a long history of brass music in South Africa and is perfect for large group participation. Currently, they have 2,000 students in 17 bands. Their goal for 2012 is to expand membership to 6,000 students. Music has been a healing art since time immemorial. However, integrating this notion into mainstream medicine is a fairly recent affair. Our compendium is dedicated to Dr. Matt Lee, who was a pioneer. His words say it clearly. Music is a universal innate language with no natural boundaries. Its very accessibility is a vital argument for its widespread usage, particularly but not only in developing nations with scarce monetary resources. As representative of all music therapies around the world, we feature NYU's Nordif Robbins program. We have found programs that use music to assuage trauma and reintegrate emotionally wounded girls and boys, men and women, back into the community. The Musicians Without Borders program is ready to expand their efforts into Bosnia-Herzegovina and Rwanda. But trauma is not all man-made, as the 2008 earthquake in Sichuan, China, and 2009 hurricane in Haiti reminds us. We purposely looked for a social need common to the modern West and the emerging world. We found one such need in the classroom. Education is struggling in the most privileged of societies, as well as the most impoverished. We found an 11-year-old program in the USA that gets tremendous results in reading, writing, and arithmetic in grades 1 through 3 by introducing guitars into the classroom. They don't teach guitar playing, but rather they teach the teachers how to use song to engage the young mind in their studies of reading, writing, and arithmetic. Peace building involves synthesizing new futures. Mark Johnson, the founder of Playing for Change, was dumbstruck by the success he enjoyed when asking warring teenage gangs to come together and make music. The making of music demands a commitment to synthesize a new outcome. Just three months ago in November, Mark connected via the internet students in his school with musicians from his Playing for Change band and a choir from a middle school in Boston. Here you see the Boston students talking and singing along with the musicians in South Africa. These are just some of the groundbreaking ways that music is being used. Through a unique merger of expertise in three domains, political will, business acumen, and musical insight, the Music as a Natural Resource Project supports, educates, and connects the dots of this movement and seeks to unlock the global potential of music to cause meaningful outcomes for society on a global scale. Our survey will expand in future years to feature more programs in more countries. We also expect to publish surveys that target specific regions, specific nations, specific localities. In September of 2010, we hosted our first live event in support of the survey. With the look and feel of a concert, we brought together UN dignitaries, corporate leaders from the music industry and education, and directors and participants from various music programs to share in the dialogue. Music is one of our most potent common languages. Its role in the globalization of the planet will continue to grow. Our pop music stars are already international ambassadors for world peace and major global programs that have no national borders, like global warming. To that end, we're creating an awards program to evangelize the work of celebrity musicians from around the world. Music is a natural resource. We like to think our name says it all.